Turning to the Quebec election and the final push this weekend before Monday's vote, the Liberals lead in the polls with a 40% share of the vote. A series of missteps from Pauline Marois, plus a drop in support for separatism, as the Parti Québécois trailing. The PQ's early hopes of a majority are now likely crushed. Global's Billy Shields reports. Pauline Marois breezed through the community of Nicolet, northeast of Montreal, to rally her supporters. La différence, ça va être lundi de sortir notre vote. She reminded the residents of this riding to vote, though keeping mum about any talk of a future referendum. Current polls put her squarely in second place, no longer in majority territory and little more than five points ahead of Francois Legault's CAQ. Since the debate, People are getting interested about other subjects. Legault has been pounding home an economic message that he believes is resonating more than sovereignty politics, and he's painting the Liberals as a retread by hammering home on the economy. Mr. Jean Charest uh, presented himself with uh, a board saying, I will create 250,000 jobs. I think it's the same board. In fact, that Mr. Pouillard used during this campaign, he recycles, so that's good for the environment. But uh, nothing new. Liberal leader Philippe Couillard visited the swing riding of Levy. He's hoping the Liberals can not only secure a win, but a majority too. The Liberals have been stressing to Quebecers that they're the anti-referendum party, a message that now seems to be working. The sovereignty message, it seems, is falling flat. We, ha we had been suspecting this from the start. It's one of the most cynical things I've ever se been seen done in Quebec, in Quebec politics. As for Marwa, she stopped here only long enough to eat lunch, heading to an adjacent swing riding afterward, hoping to recapture the momentum the PQ appeared to have in the early days of the campaign. This election is now in the home stretch. These are the times when candidates gallop across distant ridings in a single day, hoping that a few percentage points can make the difference come Monday's election. Back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Billy.